Alguns, calma aí. Tapa enxamento. Incluindo você. Incluindo o Lil Kurhat. Iedereen inbegrepen. Toa o Sidi da. Inclusive dia. Se sei anche te. Tu é ótimo mesmo. Mas e me sena. Including you. Los tiempos de crisis son también tiempos de oportunidades, oportunidad de cambiar, de evolucionar, de mejorar y para todo esto hacen falta ideas. Y esto es lo que se ha puesto sobre la mesa en el foro de comunicadores de Uni Global Union. Ideas, muchas ideas. Sindicalistas de 25 países distintos se reunían a finales de junio en Nyon, Suiza, sede de Uni Global Union. El objetivo era compartir y analizar experiencias en el terreno de la comunicación sindical. El reto es general. ¿Cómo contar lo que está pasando? ¿Cómo implicar a los trabajadores y trabajadoras? A continuación, os ofrecemos la experiencia de SEIU, Sindicato Internacional de Empleados de Servicios, cuyo secreto para que las campañas triunfen es darle voz a dichos trabajadores y trabajadoras. I think it is very important that whenever we talk about our campaigns that we feature stories of workers because their stories are able to move people. Who do they move? They move politicians to make decisions that help workers. They move the public, which is very important because if we don't have the public support, then our campaigns do not have the energy to win. And they also can move other workers. So for example, if you're organizing a group of workers in a particular place, one person with a good story that illustrates the need for a union will really enhance the work that you do as a trade unionist to get the rest of the workers on board and supportive of your campaign. In Houston, Texas, for example, SEIU, which is the union where I'm from in the United States, has used worker stories to move not only politicians and not only workers, but also the CEO of a very, very large corporation. Because these worker stories move people. They make them realize that workers have real struggles every single day. Whenever we talk to these workers, we try to get them to speak not only about their workplace issues, but also the issues that they face in their communities. So, for example, when they open up their front door, what kind of neighborhood do they live in? How do they react in that neighborhood? What do they do? Who do they see? Are they involved in other things? And sometimes we think these aren't important stories to get, but what they do is that they show workers as people. They show workers as part of a community. And they show workers as people that other folks can identify with. So if someone in the general public is listening to a worker speak, they understand that, oh, these people have similar problems than I do. And yes, they should have a contract. Yes, they should be allowed to join a union. We have tried many ways to get worker stories and we use them in a number of different and very effective ways. So when we interview workers, we make sure that they understand that their message is very important. We never tell them, say this and write it out for them. We help them tell their stories and explain them so everybody can understand it. And even if workers are not um, interested and they may say, no, I don't want to do this, we are able to persuade many of them to share the stories because they understand how powerful it is. So it's also, very, it's also a very good idea to make sure that if a worker tells a good story and is featured on either the television or written about in a newspaper, that they are training other workers to do the same thing. Because what it does is it empowers them and it makes them very aware of their power as a storyteller and as a representative of not only your campaign, but every worker that's like that. We found it to be very effective. In our union, for example, 
we have a worker story on every flyer, every leaflet that we hand out has a picture of a worker, either with their families or at the job, talking about the struggles they face and how the union is the answer to that. And every piece of paper that we send, every leaflet and flyer, has an action for people to take. You don't just give a story out and expect that people will understand what you what you're doing and what your union's doing. You have to make sure that there is a specific request that you make on that piece of paper for them to support your union. And every leaflet that you design, you must treat as if it is going to be read by everyone. Everyone in the public will be able to look at this and understand what your union is doing. So you see that worker story and the connection that is made with politicians, with CEOs and bosses, with community leaders, and with allies, people outside your union that you want to support. You see that connection is very strong and can really help you move. I don't think you can win many campaigns without effective stories. And once you start the process of gathering these stories, you find that it becomes rather easy over time. And people and workers will really take a look at this and say, oh, well, she told her story, maybe I'll tell mine. So it creates a very good foundation to lay out your public campaign, and it makes it easy to call reporters and say, I have a story about our campaign, and I have a worker or two workers to talk about it. So I would suggest that uh, stories are incredibly effective in campaigns, and I wish you all luck in getting those stories, and um, I'm sure you're going to win. Y hasta aquí hemos llegado. Espero que hayáis cogido todos muy buena nota de las recomendaciones de Scott. En el próximo programa os hablaremos de cómo se desarrolla la acción sindical en América Latina. Reinteresante, no os lo perdáis. ¡Muah!